Not only does this app have the power to completely revolutionize calorie tracking, making it 100 times quicker and easier, it also has the power to completely destroy my fitness pal. Today, I'm gonna reveal the app, show you exactly how it works, and tell you whether it lives up to the hype. I've been a personal trainer and a nutritionist for over five years, and I've helped hundreds of people to get into the best shape of their life. But I've also helped people who haven't got the results that they wanted, and nothing frustrates me more. More often than not, what stopped them is that they haven't been able to consistently track their food. And I get it. It's tedious, it's time consuming, and it's repetitive. And the hardest part is that you don't see any of the benefit from doing it for a while. However you dress it up, it's not sexy. So a lot of people give up, but that's why I'm so excited about the potential for this app. Because it removes a lot of the friction that stop people from sticking with apps like MyFitnessPal. And if an app can do that, Ultimately, more people are going to get in better shape and live healthier and happier lives. The app's called Snap Calorie, and they claim, according to their website, that it's the first app where you can take a picture of any meal and get an accurate calorie count and the macronutrients in seconds. Now, they're obviously keeping the exact details of how the app works as a closely guarded secret because they don't want the competitors to steal their idea. But my understanding is that it's using advanced AI algorithms to analyze the contents of your meal. So whatever's on your plate or in your bowl, it can analyze that and give you an accurate calorie count and the macronutrients, so the protein, the carbs, and the fat. And if it works, well, this is obviously a game changer. Because instead of having to find the exact food that you're eating on my fitness pal and weighing it out to make sure that you're inputting the right amount, you just take a picture and the app does all the hard work. I mean, it sounds amazing, right? All those too good to be true. I was obviously skeptical, so I've spent the last week trying it out for myself. And the good news is the app works exactly how they claim it does. You make your food, take a picture of the meal, upload it to the app, and within two seconds, it spits out the calories and the macros. So the idea is amazing, the process works, but is it actually accurate? Well, it depends. If you're making a simple meal, like this one here, where I've taken a photo of my salmon, spinach, and rice, it works great. The calories and the macros it's reporting are pretty similar to what you would see if you use an app like MyFitnessPal. But if you make a meal like this, where I have a big bowl that's got mint, scrambled eggs, spinach, and rice in it, the app loses its mind. In fact, in this example, it told me I was about to eat a quinoa salad that was only 300 calories. But I know for a fact that this bowl contains over a thousand calories. The same thing happens if you like to have sauces on your food. It has no idea what the sauce is and it can't measure the calories coming from it. It also doesn't take into account what you've cooked the food in. And if you've used a lot of oil or butter, that can obviously add a substantial number of calories. This app has a lot of potential and I'm really excited to see how they develop the AI algorithms as the technology gets better and better. But I'm also excited to see what companies like MyFitnessPal do in response. They'll be well aware of new emerging competitors just like this. And you can guarantee that they're already looking at ways that they can innovate their own products so that they can stay competitive. But for now, sadly, I would say the limitations outweigh the benefits. If the app can't see the food, like the example where I was eating out of the bowl, it's not gonna be accurate. If it doesn't know how you've cooked the food, it's not gonna be accurate. If it mislabels food, is not going to be accurate. And if you use sources, it's not going to be accurate. Those are just the limitations that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm sure you can think of other examples for itself. But listen, I am not downbeat about this at all. Quite the opposite, actually. It is progress, and it is progress in the right direction. Because the more friction that we can remove and the more we can use technology just like this, the better it's going to be for society overall. I said it before, but I'll say it again now. Tracking your food and your calories is tedious, time-consuming, repetitive and boring. It absolutely sucks, but it works. And even though there's a long list of cons, the benefit that you get still outweighs all of them, and it has the power to change your life. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that it's the number one game-changing habit for most of my clients. The challenge is, it's the ultimate form of delay gratification. All of the friction is at the start and all of the benefit is at the end. And most people are put off because they think calorie tracking is a life sentence. But I promise you, nothing could be further from the truth. And you really don't wanna look at it like that because eight weeks of consistent tracking is all that it takes. That's only 64 short days. Eight weeks for you to see food like Neo sees the matrix. Eight weeks out of the 4,000 that you're gonna live. That's that's just 0.2% of your life to make the rest of your life infinitely better. I think that's a pretty good trade, don't you? In fact, 
being honest, I have never met anybody who's regretted doing it. Food tracking removes the guesswork, but more importantly, it removes the emotion. So if you're trying to lose weight and burn fat, but you're not tracking what you eat, stop dancing around the hard work because I've got news for you. No one flukes this. There is a very clear correlation between the people who track their food and get the results. So there's really only one question that you have to ask yourself. Do I really want the results? And if you want my top tip, program your food into an app like MyFitnessPal, which is the app that I have been and will continue to be recommending to my clients the night before. Because then you're setting a plan. You're putting an expectation on yourself. And if you do that, you're far more likely to follow through with it. And if you follow through with it, you're gonna get the result that you want. Think about it like this. The top 1% of people are treating life like a video game. They're always trying to beat their high score and keep their streak going. So before you worry about winning the game of fat loss, you have to be playing the game. And to be playing the game, you need to be tracking your food. So I'm very sorry that I couldn't give you a more positive outcome from this video, but don't worry, the technology is coming. I hope you found the video useful, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.